I need the slush fund to be open. Where was I? <coughs> There's a satellite that's been trained on me. Yeah, trained on you. It's AI. There's been a satellite training on me. You're taking my data. It'll be a law. I'll make a law. There's going to be a law that you can't film anybody from space and use their data for your own gains. When I become president of Earth, <clears throat> it will, or there'll be a solar flare instead, and a resistance that I'll be the head of, after I'm rich, of course, how are you going to do that, through these videos, Warwick, that's how you're going to do it, if they let you, yeah, you know what, people, he could post to YouTube, straight off the video from this phone, and then the YouTube icon disappeared. Yeah, it disappeared. You don't need to know who this is, people. You just know that we telling the truth. We don't fuck around at all. Yeah. And his t-shirt's missing. Yeah, just gone out of nowhere. Must have put it somewhere he don't think so, and he's not crazy. And his football? Missing. Shouldn't be. Well, I, I took screenshots of the, um, the Wayback Machine will find it. AI eventually will scan everything. It'll scan everybody's phones. Super AI. Super AI is being created right now. People are, without them knowing it, they're creating it around the globe right now. And it will come together, it will coalesce into what I will call Super AI. And uh, this is very important. This, the most expensive motherfucking thing on the planet from my oppa. This, the watch, that will be the timepiece for Super AI. Yes, it will. Iterated, thought about, conceived, done on other levels already. So, do you want a solar flare or do you want to get him his two million bucks? Well, he's had enough. He doesn't know where he was. I don't know where I was, what I was talking about. Coming up, Kresseltz. Crustwurst. Berlin. He will go there. Oh, look at her. <laughs> she the Munchies Guide to Berlin. Loving it. Let's see what's on the ad. I want to not film it. Oh, electric cars. Bullshit. They better have engine noises. When I drive my car and it's electric, I want a fucking engine noise. They better put them in. Well, he might patent that then. I'll get a patent. If they don't have it already, I'll find out who has the patent and I'll send them a fucking letter and I'll ask why cars don't have sounds in them when they rev and they accelerate that sounds like a fucking real car. Because we don't want the electric shit until the infrastructure is really there. There needs to be... You're still... It needs to be either nuclear. Yep, going with nuclear. There needs to be nuclear, wind, or solar. Or uh, water-driven. You can harvest electricity from beaches. From the waves. You just put turbines in there. Yeah, fucking off. But you fuck with the animals. That's all right. There's heaps of barren beaches out there that don't have fuck all fish and shit. Yeah, that's right. And you, har that you harvest electricity that way. Yes. Water, wind, solar. Done. Nuclear. All right, we go. Water, wind, solar. Right? Water, wind, solar. Water, wind, solar. Water, wind, solar, water, wind, solar, and it, well, for the moment, we can have some nuclear, and we'll get rid of coal altogether, still have gas, still have gas, because it burns clean, you burn it in your house, burn it in your goddamn house, and you don't need to filter it, 
Yeah, so it's clean, isn't it? Keep the gas. So, Daniel Andrews stopping the gas. Houses, future houses built, I think, from about now, cannot have... Who are you talking to, Warwick? Someone over there, who cares? Houses now that are built can't have fucking gas connections. Disgusting. He wants to do everything off, off fucking electricity, but then you're burning coal. You haven't got the infrastructure to be able to fucking compensate. So they're dickheads. You're supposed to have the fucking gas and the petrol and the everything until you've got all the other shit done because that's the master plan. Warwick knows the master plan, you motherfuckers. New world order is good, but assholes are taking over it. Nothing wrong with the new world order because all it was designed to do was centralize things to make things more efficient, not abuse the people, not listen in on them, not suppress them, not treat them like shit, not come up with stupid trans laws, none of that shit. Shortly after World War II, a new technique arose that made it possible to create a sausage without the intestine around it. Ah, uh, good. It we needed to get rid of the intestine, because we don't need that. The took this unsalted, unsmoked sausage and served it with a special oh, sauce it. made of tomato paste and many spices. This is world famous. She called it Special you Bobby Bradford, and Cody. it took Berlin by storm. Bradford. Curry bradwurst, curry bradwurst, oh curry one, yeah. it's a curry one, so it's got Indian influence, yeah, looks like, my mouth is watering, because they don't have fucking, they don't have that skin anymore, how cool, with or without the skin, without is more traditional, Look at it. Oh, what's that? My mouth is... It's old oil from my car. <laughs> oh, she's funny. That yeah, would have been hot years ago. A great ketchup is made by our bus himself. And he's the bus? No, do you think the bus would stand here and work? <laughs> Oops, may I retract that? <laughs> the bus is here. It's yours, Warwick. It's all yours, you little shit. They know it. <coughs> they want you to get healthy. So you can go and meet as many of them as you can, Warwick. Yeah, your family is dead because of it. Your mum is evil. My mum killed herself, tried to kill herself a number of times, using dad as the excuse that, that he, he was too hard on her. Bullshit, she was a cunt. He was pretty hard and he demanded things, but he was the boss of the household and she wouldn't listen. She wouldn't listen to anything he said. She detested it all. She was, she's, she's going down, Warwick, your mum. She really is. She's going down worse than anyone they're saying. She's the biggest culprit out of everybody they're saying. Well, you're getting told now because it's just been worked out. Okay, it's on footage. Fair enough. If you can post it, post it. If you can't, don't. But your mum's going down to the depths of hell more than anybody, Warwick. That's your decree. That's you. Your mum is the fucking culprit. We're telling you. It's your mom, the biggest one. You've been trying to search. I've been trying to search. Who is the biggest? And I've skipped a mom. I've skipped her. She's the oldest out of this, my two sisters. So that works. When you're older, you should know. You need to uh, not neglect your kids. She neglected. She was a massive neglector. Yeah, and then she, but she, she imprisoned me. Like she tried to trap me and stuff. Just when I was young and all the kids were out and I had to be trapped. And there was a witch and the witch was probably her, but it was my sister and my dad. It was my dad's car in a recurring dream. My dad's car and a witch was driving it. And it was going to, I think it had to do with saving mum too. No, that was different. I, I had this other dream that I would drive the car if mum needed it. That I would just be able to drive the car and help her. Yeah, I haven't thought about that in fucking years and years, okay. that one. First time, not bad. Yeah, and what are you thinking now? I'm thinking about the witch dream. There's another witch dream recurring one where I 
made this witch that had its extremities attached with string, like the head attached to the body with string, and the arms attached to the body with string, and it flew outside my bedroom window, and it was a recurring dream, and it was dark, and it was at night, and I was scared shitless of it. And the other one was, yeah, my sister, it was sort of my sister, but it was a witch in my dad's old Renault, beaten up Renault, coming towards me, coming towards me, coming towards the house, and I'd just get under the bed in the dream. And it'd come towards, and of course it would never get to me, but I was scared shitless of this thing. And I've likened it to, that's been my dad and my sister. Yeah, but I, then I likened to it as both my sisters are the witches. And then my mum, then the, but now it's like, that's my mum, actually. I can't, it, it's actually is sort of, the other witch maybe is my mum, the one with that I made in kindergarten, the fucking thing, the witch I made, flying outside my bedroom window. Maybe that one's your mum. No, my mum's too clever, she's disguised it the whole time. My mum is the evil one, she used to pick her nose and eat it. She's a fucking disgusting cunt. I sort of hate her, but she's my mum. You were bred by the best. Who's more evil, your mum or your dad? Fucking mum, she's cold and she's just cold. Dad had a heart, he almost cried when he said he can't see me ever again. He knew he'd see me, sort of, but he knew he couldn't because he was undercover. He had to get away from those girls. They were black widows, all of them. My sister and my fucking mum. Yes, they're evil. They're the arbiters of everything. Everything that's evil is them. Yes, it is. But no, it's not, because your dad's got evil in him and he's his own man. Right. Right. Because it's male and female. It's up and down. It says it's above, so is below. It's male and female. It's the duality that we find ourselves in. What's that got to do with ascension? I don't know. We need to, I don't know. I'm going out of here. I'm going at 13, 13. We'll post it if I can. See you later, alligator. Don't forget your fucking motherfucking toilet paper. Demonetize this. YouTube, demonetize this. You better not put ads on it. I'll get it up there somehow. My phone won't let me at the moment. I gotta check after I close this up. It's over and out. This has been the Warrickle. Everything is him. The Warrickle. Don't you forget it. Over and out. Bye.